AI video tools have gotten so good in the last few months. Imagine me walking and talking with amazing camera movements, character consistency, and minimal distortions just from a single image. If you're wondering who I am, I'm Zach, part of the Zinni Studio team. Somewhere in the Middle East, in today's video, Zinni will dive into a range of cutting-edge tools, from Ryway ML Gen 3 Alpha to LTX Studio to Kling and more. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment of this tutorial. Over to you, Zinni. The first AI tool we'll be reviewing would be Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha. Once you come to their website and sign up, you'll be welcome to this homepage. Just go ahead and click on Get Started and it opens up to this page. At the very top here, it has three models. We have, we have Gen 3 Alpha and Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. The difference between these two models is that the first one you could use basically text to generate the videos. And for this, you could use images to generate the video will look at both of them the gen 3 alpha takes more of your credits to create videos while this takes less credit select the first one because the first thing i want to show you would be the logo opening that i created at the beginning of this video where you saw zini studio etched into a wall the prompt that i used for that specific um opening and here you could choose five seconds or 10 seconds we're going to make it five seconds and then click on generate here and it's going to queue up and it will start generating and once it's done we'll look at the result this is done and let's just play it and see what it looks like This turned out really well and as you can see the spelling is really good. Like any other AI tool out there, if you don't like anything you can always regenerate until you get what you're looking for. Another tip I'm going to give would be you could use the runway prompt guide for Gen 3 to be able to help you generate more prompts. You can see a couple of keywords they have here depending on what you want to create. You can also use it for text. It gives you different keywords you could use like bold graffiti and so much more that you could use. I'm going to leave the link to this prompt guide in the description box. The next thing I want to show you would be how to animate the images you have before now using Gen 2. You would have to use things like brushes to be able to make some parts of the images move. But with the Turbo Alpha, you could basically put in the image type in a basic prompt and it goes ahead to generate that video for you i'm just going to go ahead and select a picture that i've already created i'll go ahead and select that and it's going to drop it in this box one other tip is you'd have to use images that are 16 by 9 aspect ratio or else if you use a image it's going to crop it out here we'll just type in the prompts that we want. We want the cartoon boy to be walking forward, talking and moving hands gently. You can also select either 5 seconds or 10 seconds. Let's just go ahead and generate 10 seconds. This is generated. Let's just play it and see how it behaves. You could see that the character is moving forward and the hands are moving but the mouth is not moving they can always generate again but what i found out is even if you go ahead to do a lip sync on this it's going to try to move the mouth but let's just try to generate another one just to see if it's going to give us a moving mouth but right from the get-go this looks awesome quite good already the next thing i clicked was lip sync runway ml has a lip syncing tool that you could be able to sync your audio with the video that you have created just like you have seen in couple of other tools like sync lab as well as speaker art what you could do here is you can either upload your own audio file if you have that already or you could record or you could go ahead and type in a script that you want and choose a voice as this scenario i'm just going to type in the one liner to say if you're wondering who i am i am zach part of the zini studio team and then for the voice here you're going to click on the voice icon and you get to choose what you want i'm going to choose young and i'm going to go ahead to choose 
frank and then once you choose the voice you want you go ahead to choose generate lip sync what i've noticed is the lip syncing is not as expressive as other lip syncing tools we have seen but it does a good job lip syncing though script or your audio file we'll go ahead to play it if you're wondering who i am I'm Zach, part of the Zinni studio team. This sounds pretty good and the lip syncing is not bad. This is how I was able to create different video scenes and lip synced it using the script I already have to create the intro you saw at the beginning of the video. Gen 3 Alpha seems to do a very good job in my own opinion compared to some other video tools that is currently out there because they tend to glitch a lot, but this seems to maintain its consistency. In case you're wondering, how much it costs to use all of this or runway ml generally you have a free plan that you could try out it gives you 125 one-time credits you could use and then it has different a monthly or yearly plan which you could explore but you can always use the free plan to get started the next AI tool we'll be talking about will be LTX Studio. You just come to the website and sign up. Before now, we used to have a wait list, but right now it's free for everyone to access. Once it brings you to the homepage, it gives you three options to start with an idea. If you want to write a prompt, it's going to use that prompt to build off of what you want to create. Or if you already have an existing script and you want certain characters and stories to be depicted you could also do this and then the next is you could start from scratch ltx studio gives you an all-in-one platform to create your storyboard and the images even to create the videos as well as the voiceover add music and sound effects it's a whole package for this particular tutorial we'll be looking at writing the prompt click on write a prompt i'm going to paste the prompts that i have already generated go ahead click on next what it's going to do is based on the storyline that is going to create it will create characters in association with the particular synopsis that you have presented as you can see it presented jake the child the kid that wants to be an astronaut you have clara the mom and you have like a wise old neighbor or mentor here by the left hand side you have different aspect ratios depending on the platform you're creating but since we are doing youtube will be 16 by 9 and then for the video style, it has a plethora of video styles you could check out. We're going to just use the comic book format because I like how that looks. Then here you could go ahead and drag in a reference image that you want to use in terms of the color, the aesthetics, if that's what you want. And then you could manage the intensity of that reference image this is the image that i want to use let me just drag it in and then drop it here what it's going to do is it's going to change the characters that we have here to mimic the style of that reference image and like i said you could use this slider to increase the intensity or reduce the intensity of the reference image here you can see how this looks one good thing about the ltx studio is you could go into each of these characters and then make changes to the different appearance the clothes the voice whatever you want and then the age as well and then click on the apply this the same goes for all of these characters once you have your character set and you are happy with the way the characters look you just go ahead to click on start and what is going to do it to start generating a storyboard while this is loading um let me just explain so you can see that the first scene depicts Jake lying on the rooftop looking at the star and as you can see it said the location, the light, the weather and then within scene one it generated one, two, three, four images that you could go ahead and make some changes to. I'll use this as an example to show you how you could make your changes. Click on short editor. It's going to ask you the prompt if you want to make changes to it. And then the close up. Do you like the close up or you want something that is extremely close, mid shot, wide and so on, depending on what you are creating. And then in terms of the motion, you have a frame character and then we are using the natural motion. You could also make changes to the camera control keyframes as well as the scale of the motion. 
the image let's look at other scenes that the image generated this looks cohesive in terms of the color scheme and everything around it this looks good the next thing is to double check the voiceover so we can use one voiceover for the entire video you click on voiceover and then you click on narrator then you click on the drop down and it gives you different narrators which you could choose based on how they sound i'm just going to use josh for now and hit apply it's going to use that voice for the entire duration of the film and then here you could choose a soundtrack now we have selected the music that we wanted on the soundtrack and we'll click on apply it's going to apply sound to all the different images within all the scenes uh, there are a couple of ways you could share this or before then you could click on preview to see how it looks as a static image and then in terms of sharing you could share it in a couple of ways click on share then click on share report and send it to whoever you want and this is the presentation mode for the presentation mode it creates a presentation for you and then shows you the different things about the film the color scheme i like how it presents this just wait for it to finish while we wait for it to finish Another thing I need to mention is in terms of exporting it, you could export it as an MP4 direct or you could also export it for Adobe Premiere Pro as well as DaVinci Resolve. Let's look at the present. As you can see, it gave me the name reaching for the stars and then this is the synopsis and this is the characters that it's using and it gives a backstory. This is cool. Then it goes to each of the characters and what they do within the film. Then it gives you a mood board to show you a different collection of images as well as the color palette. That is how this works. This looks good. You could always copy the link and share it with somebody or you could click on the download button to download it to your computer. Next would be for us to generate the video from this. Go to share, click generate video for the 26 static shots and click on generate 20 this is done let's just play it and see how the video turned out i've always been drawn to the night sky as a kid i would spend hours lying on my roof sketching constellations and dreaming of what lay beyond growing up in a small town i faced my share of challenges limited resources and self-doubt often crept in but my passion for space was relentless my mom always believed in me and Mr. Thompson sparked my imagination with stories of the stars. I poured my heart into my studies, and when I got that scholarship, it felt like a dream come true. Now, as I sit here in my spacesuit, ready to launch into the unknown, I can't help but feel that every challenge was worth it. I'm not just reaching for the stars, I'm becoming a part of them. This looks absolutely stunning. Obviously, there are a couple of things that could be improved in terms of upscaling the quality and fine tuning the image. Like I showed you earlier, you could go into any of these shots and make some changes before you go ahead to share. Also, download um, the video LTX Studio is very good when you have to create things like short films. You want to use it for your faceless YouTube channel, a very easy tool that could get you started and you could try out different styles to see basically what works for you. Now that we have talked about LTX Studio, how much actually does it cost to use? In terms of usage of this particular tool, it gives you like a free trial. It's going to give you 3,600 computing seconds per month. And this is what you could use it for basically for personal use. And then you have your community standard and business depending on what you want but this gives you the opportunity to test out the tool and see if it's what you want to use within your workflow the next tool that we're talking about would be clean ai i've had a lot of buzz about this tool but unfortunately this tool anytime i try to create images image to video it takes forever to do that once you come into clean ai 
www.ebitcoinmarketingmentor.com. You could sign me up for free and then it gives you certain amount of credit to play around with. When I click on AI videos, you could see that I have this particular video that I've been trying to convert to video for the past 24 hours and it's still not working. I'm not sure if you know why this is stolen. Let me know in the comment section and also you could generate text to video as well i don't want to go in trying this out because this has not completed yet it has a plan but i strongly suggest to test this out first see if it's working for you before you could go ahead to make any other membership updates if you choose to the last tool that I'll be looking at an honorable mention would be Luma AI. Luma AI, I have covered this tool before. For on this channel, I'll be linking that video as well, just to show you how the Luma AI works. It uses the dream machine model. You could click on the image and then you could select a particular image that you want to animate. Select this one and say open. And then you go ahead and type in what you want that image to do. Then you could go ahead to hit enter and it's going to try to admit the image. We're going to compare Luma AI, that's the dream machine 1.5. We're going to compare the result or what we had from Runway Gen 3 Alpha and see what stands out or which one is better. This is the result of the video from Luma AI. You could see that this is pretty fast and is a bit glitchy. You might need to go ahead to generate the image again until you get what you are looking for. Based off of all the tools that we have covered today, I believe that we have the video tools required for you to create your faceless YouTube channel. I'll be doing more in-depth tutorial in the subsequent videos to come to create different faceless YouTube channels. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, to know how to use Luma AI properly, check out this video where I did an in-depth tutorial about it and I'll see you there.